Hi everyone, I recently bought a Mi Casa Verde uh, Vera 3 um, for home automation uh, and I bought um, some Schlage RS100 door and window sensors to put on my doors and windows uh, so I could detect when they're open um, or closed. So I quickly realized that this was going to get very expensive because each of these sensors costs around $30. Well, thanks to some reviews on Amazon, uh, someone pointed out that underneath this white cover here, um, there's some contacts that you can use to attach uh, just some cheap wired uh, sensors. So I have wired some of my rooms in this window, for example. I have some wired contacts. They're just uh, cheap, normally open wired contacts to... Um, each of my window panes. These are double hung windows so they open from the top and the bottom so I needed to have one on each of these panes um, so instead of having to buy four of these Schlage sensors I can buy one and then just wire up these normally open sensors um, to each of these panes. Um, so please ignore the bad uh, clocking job. I haven't finished that yet but hopefully this will help someone uh, save a little money with their Vera 3 or Vera Lite. So let me show you how I did it now. Okay, so here's my uh, Schlage door and window sensor here. I've already paired it with my Vera 3. Um, you can see, I hope you can see the little red light flashing. So this is just this switch in its default state. Um, the LED flashes when it uh, triggers, when it gets close to it, when you move it away gets close to it again. So to attach the other sensors here um, you'll need some wire. I just used some leftover CAT 5E um, wire that I had. Um, I'm sure you can just go to Home Depot or something and buy some um, security wire as well if you don't have any CAT 5 wire. So um, to open up the sensor here you push the little um, button on the front and then it pops open. Um, and then you can see, I think you can see the LED here is red. It's just showing um, there's kind of a tamper sensor here that comes with this um, sensor. So if you open it, then it will trigger. So I just open up the battery here, pull, or pull out the battery um, while I'm doing my work. So these are the the contacts here, the maybe terminals, I'm not even sure the terminology here, uh, that you want to attach your wires into. Unfortunately, you can't use both the 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 magnet that comes with it here and um, these external sensors so you'll have to choose one or the other. I was hoping that I could pair up um, you know some sensors with this and then use the default one but um, can't do that. So um, first thing I'm going to do here is loosen up the pins here and screw these so I can slide in my wire. Oops. And I'll connect in one wire here. Try to anyway. Screw it in. Connect up another one over here. Screw that one in. Okay, and then I'm just going to attach my sensors. So if you want to use, uh, so far I've used up to um, four on the window you just saw. And I also have um, two sliding windows that aren't right next to each other um, that I have in the same room that I didn't want to use two sensors for. So they're in my living room. Um, so I just connected in, I think it was like a, a 12 foot distance between them, so I just used that a strand of that Cat 5E cable and connected them. Okay, so then I just finish the circuit here. Oops. Maybe. And there it is. Okay, so then I'm going to put on my battery here. And uh, it still shows as triggered. So normally what you'd want to do is slide your wires underneath um, through the sensor right here. Um, but this is just for a test, so 
um, I'm not going to do that. So then I would need to, um, just to show you, I need to hold down this tripped, um, this button here, so it doesn't show us tripped. Okay, and now I have, sorry, my hand's in the way, um, my sensor, or my cheap um, door window sensors connected. And hopefully you can see that LED flashing when I move them. It shows tripped and not tripped. And in the, the Vera 3 or the Vera Lite, um, you could see that status um, changing in the website. And I will show you that in just a second. So it's that easy. So you can use one of these Schlage sensors um, to wire up a whole room um, as long as you can get the wires connected. Okay, so here's my sensor I just set up in my Vera 3. Uh, this is the the UI, the GUI, the web website. Um, I know you can't see me activating the sensor or not um, the, when I drag them away, but I'll just have to take my word for it that I just moved it away and just got it right next to it there. So, and I found that they can go about three quarters of an inch away without triggering, which is kind of nice because you can see on my door, or sorry, my window is that um, I couldn't get those sensors right next to each other. So there you have it. Hopefully that'll save someone a little time.